Tonsillilis, Throat Goblins, The Putrid Pearl. Tonsil stones have the power to disrupt your daily life and cause paranoia about your breath. They have the power to end romantic relationships before and after they begin once your significant other realizes your bad breath is a chronic problem even though you brush regularly. They have the power to cause your subordinates to make jokes behind your back. They're basically depression delivery devices that your body produces. That's what tonsil stones are. And if you aren't regularly cleaning or inspecting the crypts for the little throat pearls, then you can have one in your tonsils right now and not even know it. You see, tonsils are part of your lymphatic system and are there to fight off infection by intercepting debris and viruses within the crypts. Unfortunately, this means that food particles, mucus, dead cells, and all kinds of other stuff get trapped whereby bacteria can start breaking things down. Unfortunately, again, the main type of bacteria found infused within your tonsil crypts is anaerobic bacteria. Area, specifically the type that produce volatile sulfur compounds, which is why tonsil stones can make your breath smell like the inside of a septic tank. After a while, the debris within the crypt starts to calcify and harden into stones, hence the term tonsil stone. Most often these stones go unnoticed because they get swallowed during the course of a day, but every once in a while you'll notice them when they begin to cause issues like a sore throat putrid breath, or you get the feeling like you have something in your throat that you need to cough up. And that's if you're lucky. If your tonsil stones get stuck and ignored, they can become huge whoppers that restrict your breathing. In fact, the largest tonsil stone ever recorded was from a 12 year old girl that measured over one and a half inches long by one and a quarter inches wide. That's like the size of a golf ball, but thankfully that's rare. In order to get rid of tonsil stones, you can just pop them out with a q-tip or gargle with some salt water. But if you never want to see another tonsil stone again, then I have some other tools that I recommend, which I have some videos on that you can check out. So, are tonsil stones dangerous and a sign of cancer that needs to be immediately addressed? Tune in next time to find out. If you're new here, I'm Benjamin from TonsilTamer.com and this channel is all about helping you get rid of tonsil stones so you can breathe easy. And if you like this video, please share it with a friend and check out some of my other videos for living life free of tonsil stones.